Wow. Ah, what is it? Super clean, a goop that, uh, you know, has cleaner within it, smells really good, that's supposedly really great in cleaning your car dashboard, electronics, and other hard to reach places. You simply press on it and it pulls up debris and it leaves a really nice smell behind. Um, but is this product good? Does it work? What about on AirPods where, you know, you have really tiny spaces? Is this really going to be the, the end all solution? Uh, let's go ahead and find out. This is a filthy keyboard. This is super clean. Oh, okay, depending on what color you get, as the color dulls, you might need new stuff. Do not rub, just press. Use with body hands, okay. Whoa. Oh, what is it? Oh. So I'm really curious to see if it's going to get the side of my keys. See if we can get that. Oh, it definitely picks some stuff up. Oh wow, it's definitely picking stuff up. I definitely think it looks better, but I really think that this needed like a deep cleaning. Like I need to vacuum, then I need to get off the big pieces, and then maybe finish off with the goop. But you can see the goop here, look how nasty that is now. As far as fun to clean, definitely gets thumbs up. As far as ability to clean, eh, it's okay. Um, so take it as you will. I could definitely see this though if you need to get into like a tight spot and you know, light cleaning and things like that. I noticed that the bad reviews were that, you know, you store this away and if you don't store it tight enough, it dries out. And so you'll go for it for like a month later and it's super dried out and it doesn't work anymore. It does have an expiration date as well. Looks like it expires in about two years from now. So do I recommend this or not? I mean, it depends on your application. It's not gonna do any kind of deep cleaning. It's kind of a novel thing. So this is the conspiracy right here is does this goop actually remove it or does it actually push it back in? Now they're saying, you know, Q-tip first to loosen it, then grab it. And I'm sure it is grabbing some of it, but are you also pushing dirt back in at the same time? And then I think alcohol on a Q-tip is always a great, rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip is my go-to for electronics and ports and things. Um, the toothbrush, nice move, okay, yeah, so all really great moves. They went with the wax though, so, you know, maybe skip that step, it's up to you. I mean, it's definitely cleaning something, but I can't without a doubt say it's not pushing any dirt further into the device or not. Something I would say is it smells really good, it definitely does. Um, at the end, I mean, I feel like you could even make this product if you want, but it's very, it's fairly cheap and it's kind of cool and it's fun to play with. It's definitely not the perfect solution, the clean all, but for small jobs and getting in little spots, it definitely does the trick. So um, it might be a cool addition. I definitely, you know, for under 10 bucks, it's worth checking it out. But that's what I think. Let me know you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.